was born on February 9, 1986, near Varna Airport in Varna, Bulgaria. He was vacationing at the Golden Sands Resort. His status at the moment, he's been missing for eight years, six months, and two days. It is a family's worst nightmare when the Eastern European vacation ended in a mystery that remains unsolved. Lars joined his friends on holiday in Bulgaria in 2014, but never made it back home. In Germany, more than 10,000 people are usually listed as missing at any given moment. On March 1st, 2020, the Federal Criminal Police, BKA, had 11,500 missing person cases reports. 200 to 300 cases are being added daily. The friends continued to enjoy their holiday until Lars was hurt after getting into a fight one night. A German sports club had allegedly brought with a group of fans when Lars got parted from the rest of his group in a McDonald's restaurant. Lars was punched in the head and was left with a damaged eardrum and possible concussion. He has then prescribed an antibiotic called Cephorexim, 500 milligrams, and was forced to stay back in Bulgaria while his friends flew home. According to reports, a health expert advised the young man to avoid boarding the plane as the air pressure changes. Lars eventually checked into a cheap hotel called Hotel Color near Varna Airport as he saw his friends for the last time. However, Lara's mother got a horrifying call from her son later from his hotel room where he panicked and told her that he was being followed uh, by some people trying to kill him. He reportedly told his mother to cancel all of his brand cards. Lars's mother, her name is Sandra Mittink, told German TV, I thought, God, my son is in danger. I could hear his heart pounding over the phone. He said people were trying to rob him or kill him. He also sent a text to his mother asking her about the antibiotics a physician had prescribed him. According to CCTV footage of that hotel, Lars was seen flustered, pacing up and down the hotel foyer, looking out the windows, and even hiding in a lift. Reports state that Mintank left the hotel at 1 a.m. before returning later. No one knows to date where he went during that time. On July 8, 2014, he stopped the taxi. In the early morning hours that took him to Varna Airport, Lars texted his mother saying that he had safely made it to the airport terminal. However, when the airport doctor was examining him before flight, he reportedly appeared nervous and erratic and mistrustful of the drugs the physician prescribed him. Then something weird happened. The airport doctor later said that Lars began to tremble when he saw a construction worker entering the room. He cried, I don't want to be unalived here. I have to get out of here. At one point, Lars got up from the chair he was sitting on. He left his wallet, cell phone, luggage at the doctor's office, left the room, ran out of the terminal and crossed its forecourt. Security fa camera filled him climbing a fence. This was the last confirmed sighting of Lars. He was never found again after that incident until today. Nobody comprehends why he ran away, what he might have been afraid of, or why he left all of his belongings at the airport. Nobody knows whether Lars is still alive. Five years later, in 2019, a truck driver picked up an unknown hitchhiker in Dresden and took him to just north of Berlin. The trucker became aware of Lars' case and said the man he took to north of berlin looked like an older version of the missing person you saw in the picture over the years sandra got the messages and photos from worldwide including one of the men who resembles lars in south america it turned out to be anton pilipa a canadian worker who has been missing for five years sandra lars's mother has suffered for more than seven years now she wants her son back and she is doing everything she could for instance she hired a private detective who looked for Lars in Bulgaria, she was on German and Bulgarian TV multiple times, and she kept on spreading the word all over Facebook and other social media. She's hopeful, but she's assumed her son would not be in a good state of health. He must have become thin with long hair and a beard, is what she's assuming. Should I discuss the theories? Should I? Um, if you're not interested, that's okay. I like to just state facts 
and not bother anybody to assuming things, but we can discuss the theories in this case. Because the incident happened in Bulgaria, consider that Lars may have become a, a victim of human trafficking. Oh, come on. Okay, Bulgaria has one of the highest rates of human trafficking in the European Union. As reported over the past five years, human traffickers exploit domestic and foreign victims in Bulgaria and traffickers exploit victims from Bulgaria abroad. Bulgaria remains one of the primary source countries of human trafficking and people are blaming the friends of his for leaving him and I had a friend I wouldn't leave them uh, if they were traveling abroad and oh yeah I've had a concussion can you just leave me here while I fly across back home no I'm gonna take you with me I'll stay with you until you're okay he seemed fine okay I'll seem fine to leave <laughs> if I was in that situation I wouldn't leave him if I was one of his boys you know if it was one of his friends so you see this face do not screenshot <laughs> next it could be possible he's alive it could be possible he isn't so we don't know at this point what do you guys think and let's just share this video and hopefully get more attention for him and his case and his mom is also like I don't know. I can't imagine what she's going through. And so, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. And bye now.